One of my passions is tinfoil phonograms. Um, and I've always wanted to make a video showing the process of recording and playing back on a tinfoil phonograph. So what I'm gonna do is make a series of videos showing a number of different tinfoil machines and we're gonna see how they work and see if uh, which one's the best. This one here is um, a replica of the very first tinfoil machine that was built by Thomas Alva Edison in 1877. Uh, the name for this machine it's usually called the Crucy uh, tinfoil phonograph because the worker who actually built it was last name was Crucy. So I'm gonna try and get the tinfoil on it. We're gonna see if we can get it to work. And I've used this one before. It's actually pretty good. When you see it close up, you're gonna see some holes and things and some mistakes here and there. That is because the builder of this, William Miller, copied it exactly. The original machine was made and put on a base that had been used for other experiments. So let's give it a try and see if we can record on this thing. Okay, the first thing I gotta do is get the tinfoil onto the mandrel. And this one, this machine's a little tricky because it has a recorder on this side and a reproducer on this side and their, uh, their styli are quite close to the mandrel. And even if you move them away, they're still, you know, it doesn't leave you much room to work with. Um, in actual fact, they didn't need this part here. They discovered that you could use the same needle for recording and playback, but we're gonna do it the way it was intended. So I'm gonna take my piece of tin foil and somehow get it to go around this mandrel without completely ruining it. Okay, I've got it wrapped around. Now I need to snug it up, make it really tight. So what I've done in the past is to hold it on, you can wrap it around the edges, but I don't find that works very well. So I'm gonna tape it a little bit here and a little bit on the other side. Now they probably didn't have tape back then, but this is what works for me. Okay, now I can wrap it around a little bit better. Oh, I got a little wrinkle in there, that might be a problem. Okay. Now, you want to make sure it's overlapped this way so when the needle runs across it, it's not digging into that piece of tinfoil, it's riding over top of it. Okay, so now I got to get it smoothed down and I just use my hand or something like that, really press it, get it all flattened out as good as I can. All right. That should be good. All right, that looks pretty good. Now back to the beginning, very carefully. All right, now I gotta wind in. I'm gonna bring you in close to look at this. Okay, it's a little tough to see, but I'm gonna try and get the needle just to touch the tin foil, leave a little dent in it. Oh, that's pretty good. You can see there's a little dent in the tin foil. It's not enough to actually rip the tin foil. And the tin foil I'm using is Reynolds Wrap or some brand like that, but it's the um, extra thick version. The, yeah, industrial type version. I'm going to record first what Edison spoke into his original tinfoil and then I'm just going to talk a little more to give us a little more of a sample. Uh, I have an elbow here from a plastic pipe which I used to put on here. This way I can focus the sound a little bit better into uh, the recorder. So let's give it a try. Okay. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. I'm recording this on September 30th, 2024. Wow, that looks really good. I'm going to bring a close-up in to see what the grooves look like. I think you can see the grooves in it. Came out really, really good. Now the trick is, can I get the playback stylus to run over those grooves without ripping them apart or not pressing firmly enough into them. So let's give it a try. First I have to rewind it back to the beginning and I gotta make sure to pull away 
the um, recording diaphragm and needle so that it doesn't rip the tin foil as it's going by. And then now I can rewind it. All right, I think we're ready. Let me move this in. All right, let's play it back. There's a little space left, so I'm gonna try a quick second recording of something really simple. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, let's see how that worked. Not bad, I think it worked pretty well. You gotta remember, at the time that this was invented, no one had ever recorded anything and played it back. So even though it's hard to hear what was said, it's still, you could hear it is me talking and basically what I said. I mean, to me, that's incredible. A little piece of tinfoil like this. This is the heavy duty tinfoil. They would have used something made out of uh, more tin because tinfoil, as you know, is aluminum foil. So this is a good substitute, but it's not exactly the same as the original medium they would have recorded on. So it might have sounded a bit better back then. But still, an amazing thing that I can reproduce sound on this machine. Let's move on to another one and see if we can get a better recording. 